take care of my own business. Anybody else, have at it. No racism, no kids, no doctors, unless it's me. And other shit. Robert Redmond sends $2. Well, that's probably all he can afford. He lives in low-income housing in Duluth. Don't you mind it? Two dollars or what? Can you, I mean, I'm just waiting for somebody to explain how he gets in and out of a house in a scooter with no wheelchair ramp. It's crazy. What's that about? Crazy. Maybe they have the um, that thing that uh, goes up like the stairs. You know, what I'm t- I forgot the name of the damn thing. So if he's in a scooter and you. I forgot the damn name, but it's like hooked to the railing and no, there's nothing you like sit that. on the seat that takes fucking forever to get up the damn thing. There's nothing like that. Not one of those? Well, he claims that I, I stalked him at his home. Well, I'm sure, and he claims that he filed a police report stating that fact. So I've got to go up there now and check because that would be a false police report. And you'd be in a little bit of trouble, bud. Yeah, quite a few people haven't done that on here. Hmm. Well, he's in the same state, so it's chargeable. Right, Bobby. Right. You're in the same state. That makes things way different. Any other state, and you want to cry about somebody picking on you on the internet, they're going to tell you to log off. They're not going to do shit for you. If anybody says different, they're lying to you. But being that he's in the same state, that changes the whole ball game, now, doesn't it? Uh, no, actually. Any threats that Robert may make are criminal. Others, depending on what it may be. Any threats that Robert makes are credible. He is in the same state. Very credible threat. Out of state, not a credible threat. In state, absolutely credible. 100%. Big difference. So, Trump. But Bobby, you know, he says I threatened him. I can tell you I'm going to come up there and kick you over in your cooter scooter every day all day. That's not a threat. It's not a legal. It's not a crime. Did someone someone point out the law where it says that I cannot tell somebody that I'm going to come kick them over in their scooter scooter? What law is that? Can someone tell me what law that is? First of all, what's a cooter scooter? (laughs) Well, he's disabled. He's a cripple. Cooter scooter. Mobility scooter. His scooter scooter. His is an anti scooter scooter, I digress. Oh, damn. That's. I. Well, if he made a police report claiming that he lived somewhere he did not, is that not a false report? It sure is. Or can you not do it, like, uh, anonymously? Anonymously. If, if he's trying to cry that he is the victim of harassment, no. You have to tell who you are. There's no victim, there's no crime. You don't want to tell who you are, well, then there's no victim. Therefore, you have no crime. Right? It's simple. Law 101. Scooters, <laughs> He's pushing 80. He's got uh, a foot and a half in the grave already. I think uh, I'm going to talk about Herdman. Okay, I got it. So he's bored as Shay and got nobody else on YouTube at the moment. Or he's got so much family that loves him. Point. Okay. No, well, his family loves him that. so much that he's on YouTube twenty four seven. No, that's fine. They probably either all perished or this that. I mean, that, no, that's no, no, no. Like... There's a lot of women in his family. What do you think they would think if they sat down and looked through his channel and his sexual vile posts? I don't think they'd like it. Well, he's a dirty old man. What do you expect? You know why? I almost forgot. Maybe his thingy doesn't work. Maybe you got to get him, like, one of those pumps or... Oh, no. Pills, you know, like the Viagra. I don't know what else. No, I'll show you what it is. Maybe Bobby could clear it up for us. I almost forgot, dear. I'm glad you said something that piqued my memory. Zero sense, and somehow it clicked in your brain that it did. I have no idea. Well... He talks about this family that he loves so much, and, and they love him, and whoop you whoop And this is a, a family member that certainly he, he loves so much, right? Where did it go? Gone forever. So, 
Meantime. Here it is. Damn it. Hey, I cannot control how fast that uh, the stream yard will let me upload. But Bobby, can you tell us about... Oh, yeah, your robot. This guy. You just, you just fell off panel. You mean I'm robotting. Bobby, can you, you explain this? for a second. You're good now. Bobby, explain this for us. Jetsu, just, just to you. Just to you. Just to you. It's a, a legal website. Look right. Oh. So, Bobby. Can you explain to us why your brother raped a woman and two boys back in the day? They sent him to St. Uh, Peter. That's where we send all our nut back. But they said he, he couldn't stay there. And everybody's got so much love for Alan. Alan what? No, I'll get with you on that one later. Alan DeChamp, defendant who was 24 at the time, had a criminal history score of zero. Criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, the more serious of two offenses, the severity level of whatever. Normally, the presumptive sentence is criminal history. Da, 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 da. The subject was subsequently charged with three counts of assault in the third degree, one count per victim, three counts of kidnapping, one count per victim, two counts of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, because of the evidence, scientific and otherwise, against the defendant was overwhelming. The defendant's attorney persuaded the defendant to accept a plea negotiation, which allowed the defendant to enter a straight plea to the count of kidnapping, one count of criminal, criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. Robert, explain for us. Robert Redman, your family loves Alan all over Facebook. Did they love the crime he committed? What is that in correlation with him? He was in his 20s when he did that. I've got screenshots of pictures of the man is sitting there and everybody's talking about what a wonderful man he was. No, but who is, is that it? No. Relative. Oh. He wants to talk about my relatives. This is what you call fair. Do we understand? Oh, yeah, a lot of people have some fucking foul ass relatives and I'd like to basically how most people put it hey let's just take you up back and put one in your head only I think a little bit different no that's not how Robert's it. family feels Robert's family praises the man that violated three innocent teenagers under the age of 16 mind you they were under 16 um they didn't take him out back. And That's when shit. I cut your shit off, solder your shit, set, or shit, or what the hell? Soldering iron? No, not solder. Um, brand. That gap closed. And I don't give a fuck how you figure out how to piss. Stab your own little hole at that point. Yeah, let's go with that one. Well, maybe you can explain for us why they praise him instead of treating him as he should have been treated. I don't know who the fuck's praising what over here. Uh, his entire family praises the man. They're proud of their relatives. Don't know him. And. Nobody should have had the chance to know him after like that, that day. Nobody should have known him after that day. Nobody. I think that the, the victims and their family should get to have their day with him. That's what I think. Do I have a branding iron? But fuck, he's the I'll righteous use my one. fucking cast iron fucking band. Is it making sense now, ladies? All ladies that have been a victim of this perper like perverted sexual nastiness of this man. Does it make sense now? Running a family, maybe? A little bit. I don't think so. Explain it for us, Bobby. <laughs> Booby. Her body. <laughs> 